there was a time when we were filming in the hood of Inglewood, which is right by the highway, or right by the airport. Okay. And we did this fake KFC employee prank. Okay. Okay. This is in the hood, by the way. So this is like a KFC. Uh, everyone there was um, Latino. Okay. And there were the type of people that had nothing to lose. So we're in, I'm inside. I'm filming like under the table with the manager there. And I think it was Jesse and this other guy named Cassidy Campbell. Okay. And the footage is nowhere on YouTube, by the way. You can't find it anywhere. Okay. This is like one and done. Okay. So long story short. We finished, like, they finished filming it. It wasn't that funny. They didn't get a reaction, okay? So we all walk out from, like, a corner of the restaurant. So let's say here's a counter. Like, right here is, like, the counter with the, the employees in the kitchen. We're on the left side of the of the, of the 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 counter. Yeah. And the doorway is in front. So we're right here. Like, uh, we're right here. <laughs> The counter's here and the door's here. Yeah. So we walk out. They walk out. Like uh, Jesse and Cassie walk out the door. We follow them outside, and the employees and the managers saw us and recognized that we were filming. So they all like half of the employees all jumped out because the place was empty. Okay. It was like so they followed you out the door. They followed us out the door. It was a rainy day, and from what I remember hearing, like they wanted to take the, the, the uniforms away. They were like choking them with like the collars. Oh, it was like a full beat down. It was like, it wasn't a beat down, but like they were like, in, like, in, um, they were, um, intimidating us. Like, Oh, like we want those uniforms. And then they wanted the footage. They, so why were they so upset? These are just the, like, they, they, had, they had nothing to lose. They just had the, the mindset of like, okay, we don't want to be filmed. Like, sure. Okay. They didn't know how to handle it. I guess. Yeah. How so. the people would. And then, this one employee literally chased me. Okay. But I had my camera in hand, and he was like literally chasing me around the parking lot. <laughs> and it was a, it was a rainy day, so I slipped. Yeah. I hit a curb, and I dropped the camera. This guy picks up. He's like, "It's mine now, homie." Oh. Like Holmes. He's like, "Yo, this is mine now, Holmes." Okay. And he says it in a, in a in a Mexican accent. Yeah. Uh, or not accent, but like a. Yeah, accent. Yeah. Okay, accent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes inside. Okay, the, the employee who took it goes inside. The managers all go inside, and then. They scratch up the SD card with a knife, and it was completely destroyed where we couldn't recover the footage. Jeez. So we, we wanted to recover it. They couldn't do the, the company that we sent it out to in San Francisco couldn't get it fixed. Oh, yeah. And I've never had any luck with those SD card recoveries. Yeah. Yeah. And so we completely lost the footage. We had to deal with police. They were like, They called the cops on you guys? We called the cops because oh. they took our camera, and they were in the, inside for like half an hour. And nothing happened. Did you get it back? Yeah, we got the camera back and everything, but the SD card was absolutely destroyed. This guy comes out with his girlfriend. He's, she's in the car. He hops out of the car on the passenger side. He has his hands in his hoodie, his hoodie pocket. He's like, yo, Holmes, like, like that wasn't funny. Like, I I wasn't laughing. Like, okay. I don't like to be filmed or whatever. He's like, and then I think, like, under his breath, he's like, yo, I got a Glock with me or something. Jesus. Yeah, this is the He's hood. threatening you over what? Like, just filming him. <laughs> but we weren't even filming him. We were filming the the manager and the employees, we, but he thought he was filming us. Like, we, they, he thought we were filming yeah. this guy. Holy cow. And the girlfriend's like, get back in the car. Like, we need to leave and all that. And then that was one of the moments where, like, people were, like, threatening us and, like, scaring us. Was and that then, the scariest thing ever? Yeah. That you guys did? That yeah. was probably my I scariest I guess having thing. a gun in the situation. Well, we don't know for sure. Oh, uh, okay. Although... That's just, just that situation of them fighting back and, like, really, like, having nothing to lose. Yeah. And really, like, putting their jobs on the line. Mm. Right? Yeah, yeah in, that's crazy. In the hood of Ingle. You have to think about it, too. This, like, this is, like, legit in the hood prank. Maybe not the best I uh, No, we didn't know. Pranks. We, we literally just decided to pick a, any KFC around us. We... Went to the first location. We had no idea about how Inglewood was, if it was part of the hood, because obviously you have Compton, you have Inglewood, and then you have Hawthorne is another area, which is like the the general area of the hood yeah. of L.A. Jeez. So we didn't know any of this stuff, and people were like, "Wow, like that that really happened?" Like, yes, like.